moving into the last team in the division, last year's division winners, uh, the team <laughs> that I resent having to talk about the most, but those Seahawks, they're pesky, man. Last year, they finished the season 12 and four. This year, Vegas has their over under at 10 wins. This season, I have them tying the Niners at 12 and five. I think it's going to come down to the very end as it always does whenever the Niners are good. It's just this, Russell Wilson, man. You know, when you have that Hall of Fame quarterback who just scrambles out of the pocket and makes some crazy bullshit happen, uh, <laughs> I think it just makes it so much difficult for the Niners. No matter how good our defense is, no matter how good the pass rush is, he just manages to do one little turn, a little juke move, and suddenly he's throwing it down the field to, I guess this season, it will be uh, <laughs> throwing it down the field to uh, Gerald Everett, <laughs> 50 yards. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, moving into their key additions. So Gabe Jackson, Gerald Everett, Akel Weatherspoon, who they still away from the Niners. And they also still away, still away Kerry Hyder because they just love to steal our count. <laughs> Figures. Key losses. Uh, David Moore, Carlos High, Philip Dorsett. Not a ton of talent there. They did make a lot of re-signing. So bringing back Carlos Dunlap, who really helped their pass rush last year. Early part of the season, the Seahawks were just allowing points on points on points. Get Carlos Dunlap, and that seems to cease especially also when Jamal Adams got healthy as well. They just paid Jamal Adams a fiend's ransom as he got $70 million guaranteed, I believe I saw. Tyler Lockett also re-signed. And then they only had three draft picks. This was one of the things that stood out to me. Uh, Dwayne Eskridge, wide receiver, second round, Trey Brown, cornerback, and then Stone Forsythe in the sixth round. So a couple additions on the offensive line. You know, the Seahawks, we just look at their roster every year and we underrate them. And it makes sense in our heads, but then the games start and suddenly, again, Russell Wilson, Pete Carroll, they're doing something and they're winning games. So Seahawks, what do you think this year? Another year where they remain competitive? Absolutely. They'll be competitive as long as Russell Wilson will be under center. Ever since he was drafted by the Seahawks, you know, there's always been a battle between the Seahawks and Niners in the division. Even going back to Harbaugh, they've always had great games and it usually comes down to the wire. Uh, and Russell Wilson, you know, with Russell Wilson under center, you're just never, you're never out of the game, you know, with the Seahawks. It doesn't matter. He can, he can always escape the pressure, get out of the pocket, throw deep. He has a plethora of weapons on the offensive side of the ball. As you mentioned, DK, Tyler Lockett, uh, Eskridge, another wide receiver. And they also have Gerald Everett as well. So uh, the Seahawks will be a problem. And I, I, I'm happy for Kerry Hyder. I'm glad he got paid. He balled out for the Niners last year. He was our best edge rusher last year. And hopefully Akello plays well with Seattle. Um, you know, I know Akello, he had a, some pretty good games in 2019. He kind of lost his confidence. He got hurt and he really wasn't the same cornerback. Um, but as you mentioned, their biggest free agent signing or, you know, re-signing was Jamal Adams. He's definitely a difference maker on that defensive side of the ball. They still got Bobby Wags. Don't, don't sleep on Bobby Wagner. He's still a beast. Uh, he's still one of the best linebackers in the NFL for sure. And Jamal Adams helps, you know, that pass rush along with Hyder, along with uh, Carlos Dunlap, you mentioned, who they acquired from Cincinnati uh, last year. Um, I think Seattle will still be a problem, and I think they could easily win in between that 11 to 13 game range, I think, uh, because you're never out of a game with Russell Wilson. And he's still the best quarterback uh, in the NFC West, and he's probably still, I would say, a top three, top five quarterback in the NFL. Be honest. How excited were you when you were hearing those Russell Wilson trade rumors <laughs> earlier in the year? I was on pins and needles, man. I, I was hoping I was hoping the Seattle Seahawks would make the dumbest decision in their franchise history by trading away Russell Wilson. I would, I would, I would be thrilled. <laughs> send him to the afc raiders exactly. dolphins anyone we don't only play once every four years exactly. take him <laughs> because god if if it wasn't for russell wilson in this division i feel like the niner success would have changed so much other than you know of course the chip cowley and jim tom soul years russell yeah. wilson here seahawks fans if you're watching this this is two niners fans praising your quarterback yeah. just know it game recognized game Absolutely. and uh russell wilson's the magic man so uh Another good year for the Seahawks. Another fun year in the NFC West, the most competitive division in football. 